Charlie Chaplin is an iconic figure in film history and popular culture. He was a comedian, actor, and director. Chaplin, who was born in London, England, on April 16, 1889, had an incredible life journey from humble origins to global fame. Chaplin experienced a difficult and turbulent upbringing. Although they both performed in the music hall style, his parents, Charles Chaplin Sr. and Hannah Chaplin, had both emotional and professional difficulties. His upbringing was turbulent due to his mother's mental instability and his father's alcoholism. Chaplin was abandoned at the age of nine and had to face the harsh reality of poverty. Even though Chaplin had a turbulent upbringing, he showed early flair for acting. Joining a clog dancing ensemble helped him launch his entertainment career and improve his performance abilities. Fred Carno, a well-known entrepreneur, recruited Chaplin for his comedy company after quickly noticing his comic skills. With Carno's troupe, Chaplin underwent a metamorphosis that helped him hone his physical humor and establish his distinctive comic style. He traveled to America with the group in 1910, and it was there that he was spotted by Max Sennett, a film producer. Chaplin's cinema career began when Sennett extended an offer of a contract to work at his Keystone Studios. Thanks to his distinctive figure, The Tramp, Chaplin became a sensation in the budding realm of silent cinema very early. Chaplin's portrayal of The Tramp, complete with his signature bowler hat, cane, and distinctive mustache, won over audiences all over the world. His first short films, The Kid, 1921, and The Gold Rush, 1925, demonstrated his comic skill and made him a household name in Hollywood. Chaplin moved from straightforward slapstick humor to more complex storytelling as his career developed, adding societal criticism to his productions. In addition to showcasing Chaplin's humorous abilities, movies like 1930 SIXS Modern Times and 1940's The Great Dictator tackled important social and political themes of the day, such as industrialization, fascism, and poverty especially The Great Dictator, which boldly denounces Adolf Hitler and Nazi Germany. Chaplin gave a stirring speech promoting peace, tolerance, and the intrinsic dignity of every human being, a bold departure from his typical humorous portrayals. The movie solidified Chaplin's standing as a bold supporter of social justice and a brilliant entertainer. I'm sorry, but I don't want to be a, an emperor. That's not my business. I don't want to rule or conquer anyone. I should like to help everyone if possible. Jew, Gentile, black man, white. We all want to help one another. Human beings are like that. In this world, there's room for everyone, and the good earth is rich and can provide for everyone. The way of life can be free and beautiful, but we have lost the way. Chaplin had great success in his career, but his personal life was frequently turbulent. He got married several times, and the tabloids often published stories about his relationships. In 1918, he was divorced from actress Mildred Harris. He then got married to Paulette Goddard and Lita Gray. Chaplin endured scandals in his public life in addition to love involvements that occasionally eclipsed his creative accomplishments. He was involved in a well-publicized paternity litigation in the 1940s, and he was later charged with having communist sympathies during the American Red Scare. Through the 1940s and 1950s, Chaplin produced critically praised pictures and stayed dedicated to his profession in spite of these obstacles. Chaplin's filming slowed somewhat in the later years of his career as he concentrated more on writing and other endeavors. For his services to the film industry, he was bestowed with a plethora of accolades, including a Special Academy Award in 1972 for his incalculable effect in making motion pictures the art form of the century. Chaplin lived in isolation with his family in Switzerland during his final years. At the age of 88, 
He passed away on December 25, 1977, leaving behind a legacy that still serves as an inspiration to performers and filmmakers today. The life story of Charlie Chaplin is proof of both the human spirit's tenacity and the transformational potential of art. Chaplin's story, from his modest origins in London to his rise to international fame, is a testament to the triumph of ability, tenacity, and inventiveness over hardship. His impact will last for many decades thanks to his classic films and lasting legacy.